Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heideman here. Today we are looking at lesson 14. And today's learning objective is that students will identify ordinal positions to the 12th. Now, this is part two to our first lesson of ordinal positions. When I think of ordinal positions, I think of order, things that happen in a certain order. You might think of maybe a racetrack, some type of sport. You have a certain athlete coming in first place, maybe second place, maybe they took third place. All sorts of different sports. What also comes to mind are lines, lines at the airport, lines at the grocery store. Are you first in line? Are you seventh in line? Are you last in line? Okay. So being able to give a name to the position you're in. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So here we have a line of students. And so far we've looked up, we've learned about ordinal positions from first to fifth. We are going to take it to the 12th position. So let's go through these children standing in line. We have this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth, also known as last. And I know I over exaggerate the, but it just makes it more apparent to children that it's not this guy is six in line, he's sixth in line, ninth in line. What about this girl? She's eleventh in line, seventh in line. Okay? So over exaggerating so that really catches on ordinal positions first through twelfth. So here we have a bunch of crayons, all right? We have 12 crayons, two, four, six, and six more. Six plus six is 12. So the first one, we are going to color red. The red is in first. The second color we are going to color is green. The second in line is green, if the first one's first. The third in line is the yellow. The fourth in line is the brown. The fifth in line is the orange. The sixth in line is the black. The seventh in line is the blue. The eighth in line is purple. And we're going to stop here and rearrange some of these crayons, okay? So we have first, second, third. The brown is the fourth crayon in line. The blue is the seventh crayon in line. The green, well, it's the second in line. And if we have the purple, that's eighth in line, okay? Now, we want to figure out, I'm going to start taking some of these away. So goodbye to a couple of, or that second crayon, and we're going to shift some of these over. Okay, so we're going to mix them up a little bit. So what if I'm asking the black is now in seventh? We shifted around some colors. What color is in the middle? Well, if you start at the ends and count towards the middle, the yellow is in the middle, okay? Middle. Let's take away a crayon. Now we have six crayons. Six, the green one is now third. First, second, third. Now we took one more color away. 
the red is first, the purple is second, the brown is third, and now the blue is fourth. What if we took one away? Now the purple is first, the brown is second, and the blue is third. Taking one away. The purple is still first, but now the blue is second. And now we take both away and we end up with blank crayons, but still in an order. First through last, depending on, this is important, which side your first is at. Just like in our problem solving worksheet, you can put the door on either side of the page, but the ordinal positions matter based off of who you have closest to that either finish line or door or grocery store checkout. So things to think about. All right, boys and girls, see you at live session. Bye-bye.